Young children are natural scientists. Their curiosity leads them to asking interesting questions. <laughs> they observe the world around them and try to figure out how everything works. Dinosaurs are one subject that particularly fascinates most children. Now, using my kids, for example, they both love anything about dinosaurs. Okay, a whole lot. Be it dinosaur animation programs, you know, dinosaur storybooks, whatever it is that has to do with dinosaur, they love it a whole lot. Okay, now we even use dinosaurs for sensory being play, which is what today's video is all about. Now, my beautiful people, let me show you all how I and my lovely kids assembled everything you see in this dinosaur inspired sensory bin okay my darlings now keep watching and while you watch do not forget to like this video and also subscribe to my channel if you have not okay guys <laughs> how we assembled, I mean how me and my kids assembled the dinosaur sensory bin. Let me quickly introduce to you guys the items that we used to assemble the sensory bin, okay? So guys, here I have this gravel. <laughs> guys, I single-handedly picked this for my kids. Next item, which is actually, I have to drop that. Which is actually the main item is this the dinosaur. I actually got this for for them in December as one of their Christmas gifts. But funny enough, uh, we haven't been able to use this ever since then. Okay. So because of this holiday period, this long holiday, I remember. Oh, we even have a dinosaur that we got. Um, we even have a dinosaur box that we got in December. So yes, why not? We had to create something out of it, which is what this video is all about today. So in here is the dinosaur. Um, it has um, fans, trees, and about um, 10 different species of dinosaurs in here. So guys, these are basically the three main items that we use in setting up this sensory bean. Girls, are you ready? Yes, mommy. Are you ready? Yes, mommy. Are you ready? Yes, mommy. Okay, so I'm going to um, turn this camera over to them to fix them directly while they go through um, the names of dinosaurs, okay, and their futures, okay? Guys, now, for this dinosaur sensory beam play, I printed out um, dinosaur alphabets, okay? from A to Z, that's different dinosaur names, okay? And I just did this um, yesterday, I printed them out and laminated them for, for them to use alongside their dinosaur sensory beam play. I use this in teaching them names of different um, dinosaurs, okay? So like I mentioned, I just printed this yesterday for them. So I'll just have them go through anyone that they can remember, okay? Now, guys, my first daughter here, she is three years old, and my second daughter here, she is two years old. So guys, enjoy this video. <laughs> so guys, in no particular order, so I'm just gonna give this to them to mention the names, whichever one they can remember, <laughs> okay? So my darling, baby, just keep it like this, okay? So that mommy can, can see as well. What's the name of this dinosaur? Achinosaurus. Arabella? Arabella, what dinosaur is this? Pegosaurus. No, sorry, my pronounce it for her. Achinosaurus. Achinosaurus. Say it again, Bella. Achinosaurus. Achinosaurus. Good. Now, what dinosaur is this? B. I know it's B, baby. What's the name of the dinosaur? Sorry, ma. Try. Bracosaurus. Arabella, pronounce it again. Bracosaurus. Pronounce it again, girls. Bracosaurus. Okay, so this is Bracosaurus. This is Achinosaurus. Okay, baby. Yes. 
Okay, so that's the only two you guys know here, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so let's move to the next one. Next one, girls. Jigonatosaurus. No, mama, that's not Jigonatosaurus, okay? So they look alike, but that's not Jigonatosaurus, okay? So what dinosaur is this? Arabella. Arabella, what dinosaur is this? Say it again. Say it again. Pronounce it again. Tarima, can you pronounce it for your sister? Point it. Okay, girls, let's move on to the next one. Okay, can I have it? No fighting. Girls? Yes, mommy. What's the name of this dinosaur? Iguanodon. Pronounce it again? Iguanodon. Mama, can you spell it out? Go. E. E. Mm -hmm. Go. Mm -hmm. Oh. Mm -hmm. Ah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm. Igua. Iguana done. Good. So, um, this is Kentosaurus. Kentosaurus. It has spikes on its back. You have to play music. <laughs> okay, yeah. Mama. Let's let's move on to the next one. Baby, baby can you sit down? Good girl. Arabella. Arabella. Okay, Arabella has left us. Mama, what's the name of this di um, dinosaur? Stegosaurus. <laughs> Are you back? Yeah. Okay, so what's the name of this dinosaur? Look at it. Stegosaurus. Say Stegosaurus. 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 Okay, Mama. Yes, Mama. What's the name of this dinosaur? Tyrannosaurus. T. Yes. And the Tyrannosaurus. <laughs> sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down. Okay. Don't worry, don't worry. Are you ready, girls? Yes. Now, girls, according to the story Dinosaur Train, how many dinosaurs can you list, can you mention that eat grass or leaves? The Ceratops. Okay. Lamiasaurus. Okay. The Ceratops. Water. So, Sarima, how many did you mention? Jacerosaurus. Okay. Lamiasaurus. Okay. Stachosaurus. Okay. Say it again. Say it loud. Jacerosaurus. Okay. Lamiasaurus. Okay. Brachiosaurus. Okay. Stachosaurus. Good. Clap for yourself. Clap for yourself again. Now, how many horns does Triceratops have? One horn, three horns. Three horns. Clap for yourself. Bam, 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 bam. Triceratops is here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, girls, okay, girls, next question. Okay, girls, are you ready for the next question? Yeah. Are you ready for the next question? Now, which dinosaur hoots? Coritosaurus. Mama, loud it. Coritosaurus. Mm hmm. Lambiasaurus. How do they hoot? <laughs> Clap for yourself, girls. Okay, next question. Are you ready? Yes. Which dinosaur runs fast? Pronounce it again. Amina minus. Don't shout too much. Pronounce it again. Amina minus. Pronounce it again, Bella. Amina minus. Bella, pronounce it. Amina minus. Omino. Minus. Good. Now, are you ready for the last question? Yeah. Which dinosaur? Which dinosaur catches fish with its beak? Clap for yourself. Ah, baby. Ah, baby. You don't have a big belly. 
Yeah. Now, last question, girls. Which dinosaur is the king of all dinosaurs? Bunny. Which dinosaur? Bella, clap for yourself! Yeah. Okay, guys, that was very interesting, right? Now, girls, let's arrange or let's, 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 let's set up the dinosaur sensory B. <laughs> okay, guys, with all that being said, now in this dinosaur sensory bean play, Three different skills were exercised by my kids alongside other skills as well but I will concentrate on these three skills okay as you can see the very first one is improvement of fine motor skills generally guys sensory beam play encourages or improves fine motor skills okay which is the reason why I got my kids involved in assembling the sensory beam by themselves as you can see <laughs> and while they were trying to figure out um you know fixing the fence they were exercising their hand muscles and you know and all of that guys now that's the um, number one and then number two is language development as you watch guys you would see that they were communicating okay while they were playing okay now in this language development okay it also strengthens their communication skills okay it expands their vocabulary you know why they play i ask them questions and you know they respond back to me as well now guys the next skill is observation skill as you watch you will notice that they were able to identify the different dinosaurs by their names okay guys now enjoy the rest part of this video or rather enjoy the rest of this video it is very very interesting i mean you can never or we can never overemphasize on the advantages of sensory being played I hope you enjoyed watching this video okay I myself I did I mean spending time with my kids in here watching them you know do their imaginative play with the um, dinosaur sensory being like it's it's amazing it is better than than sitting in front of TV watching TV 24 hours I mean you can hear them name call out different names of dinosaurs and all of that knowing what each dinosaur eats it's it's <laughs> it's amazing guys i must say so please please give this video a big thumbs up if you've not done that yet and before you go please kindly subscribe and also ring on the notification bell so you get notified whenever i drop a new post now guys do not run off okay there are other lovely um content that we created this holiday period you can check the um playlist on um holiday um, you can check the playlist on holiday activities and watch other activities that we did during this holiday time okay bye, -bye. bye guys thank you for watching okay bye.